Alright, so we're talking about the function natural log of x. Let's go ahead and take a look at what the derivative of natural log x is. And the derivative of natural log x, so if f of x is equal to ln x, the derivative is 1 over x. So again, if f of x is, one over, is, is natural log x, the derivative is 1 over x. Okay? Let me just write that a little bit neater. 1 over x. So that one you've got to keep in your memory bank. You have to know that. You've got to memorize that. Okay? So let's just say, for instance, you had, you know, it might not just be y equals natural log of x. Maybe it's you have y equals natural log of uh, 3x, let's say. Okay? Let's see what the derivative of that would be. Well, what you would do is you would have to use the chain rule. You'd have to use both this rule right here as well as the chain rule. So what you would do is, you know, in this case, instead of just being x is the inner function, now you have 3x. So the first thing is I would apply this rule to it, all right? So basically the derivative is 1 over what's inside is what I call it, because this x is the thing inside natural log x, so it's 1 over what's inside. So that's the first step, 1 over 3x. And then you have to apply the chain rule, which is times the derivative of what's inside. So times 3, okay? Now I can just simplify that as 3 over 3x, and of course those 3's cancel to be 1 over x. So wow, it actually happens that the derivative of natural log 3x is the same as natural log of x, okay? So that's kind of nifty right there. Um, let's take a look at another derivative. What if I had like uh, natural log of x to the fourth? Okay, pretty uh, exhilarating function right there. So to take the derivative of that, again, it would just be 1 over what's inside. So in this case, what's inside here is x to the fourth. You know, up here it was x. But it's just 1 over what's inside, so it's 1 over x to the fourth times the derivative of what's inside, using the chain rule. So the chain rule would say that that's, you know, when I multiply, it's 4x cubed. And I can simplify that as 4x cubed over x to the fourth, which just simplifies down to um, 4 over x. Okay, 4 over x. Now, just FYI, in, the, in a prior video we talked about um, a rule that if you have natural log of a to the n, that's the same thing as n times natural log of a. Notice how if I wanted to, before I took the derivative here, I could have rewritten this and brought the 4 down in front as 4 natural log of x. That's just using a natural log uh, property, one of the properties of natural log functions. And so then in this case, it would just been, you know, the 4 is a constant when I take the derivative and go along for the ride. The derivative of natural log x is 1 over x, 4 over x would be the same thing. So, you know, it doesn't matter how you do it, you're going to get the same answer, get the same deal. So let's see here. You also could have something like uh, y is equal to natural log of, let's say, cosine of x. Okay? So in this case, you know, let's go crazy. Let's say it's cosine of uh, 5x. Ooh, that's going to be fun. Okay, cosine of 5x. So for this one, I would do, again, 1 over what's inside. Okay, so it's 1 over cosine 5x. Then I would multiply by the derivative of what's inside, meaning this cosine of 5x. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine of 5x, keep that the same, and then I have to use the chain rule again to multiply by the derivative of that, so it would be times 5. So when I simplify that, I'd write this on the top, so it would be negative 5 sine of 5x over cosine of 5x. Now you might be seeing a pattern that instead of writing it out as I'm doing like this, you know, 1 over what's inside times the derivative of what's inside, it, it just ends up being the derivative of what's inside over what's inside. Okay, so that, that works as well. Now in this case you could even simplify it further since sine over cosine is tangent to negative 5 tangent 5x. Very cool. Um, and let's just say we look at another problem like oh, y is equal to x squared natural log of x, let's just say. So in this case, we would just apply the product rule to this first, okay? Um, so I would have, you know, my two functions, that x squared is one of my functions, l and x is the other. The derivative of x squared would be 2x, the derivative of l and x is 1 over x. So when I apply my product rule, it would be x squared times the derivative of l and x would be x squared times 1 over x plus 
ln x times 2x, I'll put the 2x in front, times ln x. And I should simplify this down to just x plus 2x ln x. That would be the derivative right there. So there's some kind of simple basic derivatives of